Hello and welcome to the live 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Association of National Olympic Committees, the ANOX Merit Badge, conferred to His Highness on the sidelines of the convening of ANOX General Assembly in Qatar. His Majesty stated that His Highness's grant of the award is proof of his great efforts and excellent work in improving Olympic sports in the Kingdom, which, due to His Highness's work and the unification of the Bahraini sports family, is making prominent advancements in various fields. His Majesty affirmed that these achievements have guaranteed further prosperity and improvement for the Bahraini Olympic experience and gave it praise, highlighting the attention it garnered from all observers of the Olympic sports movement. His Majesty also congratulated the honorees, commending their efforts in the development of Olympic work in their respective countries, wishing them constant success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudubia Palace today the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, a number of royal member mem family members and officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stated that Bahraini people contributed with their efforts and determination to reinforce the march of national action, adding that these achievements will be a source of inspiration to future generations to serve their country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the role of the President of the SCIA and his historical and cultural contribution to the National March. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also affirmed the government's keenness in developing its services and facilities in various fields, including health and medical treatment, so as to provide citizens with the highest levels of service. His Royal Highness noted the importance of raising health awareness and educational campaigns regarding modern-day diseases and stressed the need for Bahrain to host international conferences and forums about such diseases, including cancer. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of cooperation amongst specialized research centers in the GCC in studying these diseases in order to come up with recommendations that help governments develop preventative and curative programs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister added that government encourages forums that help develop the health sector, emphasizing the government's keenness to provide citizens with the highest levels of health and medical services.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gurebiya Palace the board chairman of Kuwait Finance House, KFH, Hamid Al Marzouk. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister cited the contributions of Kuwait Finance House to economic development in the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised the role of Beitouk for selecting Bahrain for the implementation of economic projects that reflects the bank's efficiency in the planning and implementation processes. He asserted the government's support of the financial and banking sector for their significant impact in developing the national economy and creating job opportunities for citizens. He also noted that the government is keen to adopt programs that elevate the banking sector and maintain a regional and global status of excellence for the kingdom in the fields of business and finance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underscored the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have become an economic power, but the circumstances and challenges faced in the region requires the GCC countries to adopt more comprehensive cooperation in order to maintain this power and economic growth, in order to achieve the welfare of the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes regional investments, especially from Kuwait, which reflects an aspect of the well-developed and deeply rooted historical relations linking the two countries. For his part, Board Chairman of KFH Hamad al Marzouk expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support of the activities and projects of Beitouk in Bahrain, which has had a very positive impact. He also stressed the keenness of KFH to expand investments in the Kingdom for the environment it provides to elevate the status of the financial and banking sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, visited today the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Abzam Mubarak al Sabah, at his new residence in the presence of Gulf Cooperation Council countries' ambassadors to Bahrain. The Prime Minister highlighted the regional and international status of His Highness Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabbar al Sabah, and noted his political and humanitarian stances, which the world appreciates. He also noted his designation as a humanitarian leader by the United Nations and the praise His Highness the Emir received at the Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit. His Royal Highness pointed out that the shared history and deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait lead to more bilateral and Gulf cooperation. He emphasized that the unity of the Gulf is based on a common history and geography. His Royal Highness commended the brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait, which represent a model for the relations of love brotherhood and cooperation, based on foundations that have been established over the years. He expressed his pleasure regarding the course of Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, which reflects the two countries' keenness to develop means of cooperation to live up to the expectations of both countries. The Prime Minister lauded the diplomatic efforts of the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain. For his part, the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain expressed thanks to the Prime Minister for his visit, affirming that it embodies the GCC's unity. He praised His Royal Highness's efforts to strengthen cooperation between both countries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Gudabia Palace the National Audit Office NAO's President Hassan Al Jalahma, where Al Jalahma submitted the NAO report for the year 2015 to 2016. This was in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Jawad Al Rayyad, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed Al Matawa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted that the independent monitoring approach, which is constituted by the National Audit Office annual report, is at the heart of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's instructions for the preservation of public funds, as well as the achievement of the highest degree of transparency. His Royal Highness also emphasized that the government, under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, will carefully consider the findings and recommendations of the NAO report through a government task force headed by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince gave instruction for the immediate investigation into all cases that carry any criminal violations within the report and for their referral to the public prosecution in order to take forward any necessary legal action. His Royal Highness went on to praise the NAO's efforts to monitor violations associated with the inefficient use of public funds as a means to assure the delivery of government services and productivity. His Royal Highness then underscored the importance of reinforcing cooperation between government entities and the NAO, noting that this will play a crucial role in increasing government productivity, preserving public funds and rationalizing expenditure, which is in line with the government's long-term development goals. For his part, NAO's President Hassan al Jalahma expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and for the leadership's continued support to the NAO. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim al Khalifa, chaired today the fifth meeting of the Council's fifth session. Her Royal Highness hailed the efforts that contributed to the establishment of the Council, which functions as an organizational system that is based on a sound legal structure. She expressed pride in the achievements of the Council as an advisory organization specialized in the affairs of Bahraini women and supported by His Majesty the King, which enhances the status of the Kingdom regarding the support and enhancement of the presence of Bahraini women and guarantees them equal participation in the National March. Her Royal Highness said that the gains of Bahraini women since the initiation of His Royal Highness's Re His Majesty's Reform Project reflect the serious will to empower them, to support them to take decision-making positions and to guarantee them equal opportunities in building a promising future. Princess Abicha also highlighted the efforts of the judicial and legal organizations in the Kingdom and their sincere participation in the Bahraini Women Day topic this year, which was reflected in the Council's monitoring of laws and legislations that support Bahraini women, recommended by the Third National Convention for Bahraini Women, held under the theme Women and the Law, March and its Achievement, Challenges and Aspirations. During the meeting, the members of the Council reviewed the municipality's report regarding the National Plan for Bahraini Women's Advancement from 2013 to 2022, which included a number of success stories and best practices in the areas of family stability, equal opportunities and quality of life. Amongst the success stories was the success of the housing project, Bahraini women in leadership positions and the private sector's adoption of the methods of the national model for integrating women's needs. The meeting concluded with a reviewing of the municipality's reports on the achievements of the fifth session of the Supreme Council for Women, the improvements of the issued legislations and laws, and the most important regional and international contributions and activities, as well as reviewing the proposals of the municipality regarding Bahraini Women Day for 2017. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, President Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, chaired today the Council's meeting in the presence of Vice President Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. He praised the pioneering initiatives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in enhancing and promoting peace between sects and religions, fostering a spirit of moderation and the rejection of extremism and intolerance between people, as well as promoting common foundations of peaceful coexistence between different ethnicities. The Council stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wise vision, was able to move forward in strengthening its leading role and vital experience 
to achieve coexistence and harmony. The Council cited the establishment of the Chair in the name of His Majesty at La Sapienza University of Rome to teach dialogue, peace and interreligious understanding, which is a pioneering initiative to disseminate these good values. The Council also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, for receiving the Grand Star in Gold of the Austrian Order for Merit, for protecting and upholding traditions and values, conferred upon him by the Habsburg Royal Family and Hoyerbrunn City Council in Austria. The SEIA condemned the Houthi militias in Yemen for targeting Mecca, stressing that such a target is an act of despicable terror, expressing at the same time appreciation for the forces of the Arab coalition, led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and their vigilance in thwarting this vicious attack. The SEIA then moved on to discuss topics on the agenda and initiated the draft agreement of understanding with the Russian Mufti's Shura Council and Religious Administration of Muslims of the Russian Federation and expressed its welcome and strengthening of relations with the authorities and Islamic organizations. The SEIA also examined the latest developments regarding the implementation of various projects and the reconstruction of mosques. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received today, in the presence of the Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Palestinian Liberation Organization Executive Committee Secretary Dr. Saeb Arakat. The Deputy Premier reiterated the Kingdom's solidarity with the Palestinian Brethren to have their full sovereign state with its capital in Jerusalem and support of all efforts aimed to reach a fair and comprehensive peaceful settlement of the Palestinian issue as per international legitimacy resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. The Deputy Premier wished the Palestinian people success in achieving national unity to boost their capability and restore security and stability. For his part, Dr. Erekat informed the Deputy Premier about the latest developments of the Palestinian issue and the peace process, hailing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's firm supportive stances regarding the Palestinian issue and support of the Palestinian people to obtain their legitimate rights and aspirations. Deputized by His Majesty the King, the personal representative of His Majesty the King and director of the Supreme Council of Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the opening session of the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP22, which was held in Marrakesh, Morocco, under the auspices of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. This was in the presence of heads and representatives of the participating countries, as well as relevant regional and international organizations. On the sidelines of the conference, his Majesty, the King of Morocco, received Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid, where His Highness conveyed to the King the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Morocco, as well as His Majesty's wishes of success for the International Forum. The Moroccan King, for his part, asked His Highness Sheikh Abdullah to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his best wishes for Bahrain of further progress and prosperity. Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Morocco, its leadership and people for hosting the forum and providing all necessary resources to ensure the success of such an important environmental forum, which tackles environmental challenges and their impacts. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's participation in such a forum reflects the keenness and wise directives of His Majesty the King for supporting framework plans that would lead towards enhancing cooperation with the international community. He highlighted that such a forum reflects the strategic vision that decision makers that come up with goals and joint action work to solve issues related to environmental change. Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad affirmed Bahrain's keen desire to come up with unanimous recommendations that would lead to achieving the set goals. He made reference to Bahrain signing the Global Environment Agreement for minimizing carbon dissipation, as well as Bahrain's participation in COP21, which was held in Paris last year. The King of Morocco delivered a speech during the event. Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad also attended a luncheon held by the Moroccan monarch in honor of the heads of the delegations participating in the International Forum.
the Association of National Olympic Committees, the ANOC, has rewarded the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with an ANOC medal for His Highness's outstanding efforts on the administration level. The medal, which is the highest honour given by ANOC, was presented to His Highness Sheikh Nasser by the President of ANOC, Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahad Al Sabah, during a special ceremony held in Qatar under the patronage of the Prime Minister of Qatar, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser al bin Khalifa Al Thani, in the presence of the President of the International Olympic Committee, Mr. Tamik Bach, President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and Qatar Olympic Committee President, Sheikh Joan bin Hamad Al Thani, as well as a number of senior officials and members of ANOC. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his utmost pride and honour to have received such a medal, stating that this honour comes as a crown to all athletes in the Kingdom of Bahrain and GCC states. His Highness Sheikh Nasser considered that receiving this honour was also a crown for Bahraini sports and all its members. Moreover, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised Sheikh Fahad bin Ahmed Al Sabah for his strong contributions to sports and athletes and for his role in serving this field for a very long period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the efforts of Mr. Bach in developing the Olympic Games worldwide, extending appreciation to the extraordinary work done by Sheikh Joan bin Hamad Al Thani in preparing for the General Assembly meeting of ANOC. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Qatar's Prime Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani. The meeting was on the sidelines of His Highness's participation in the Association of National Olympic Committees, ANOC meeting, which was held under the patronage of the Qatari Prime Minister in Doha. The meeting was attended by President of the International Olympic Committee, Mr. Tamik Bach, Qatar Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Joan bin Hamad, ANOC President, Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahad Al Sabah, and President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The discussions included the close ties between Bahrain and Qatar, which are growing at a high pace in all areas. His Highness Sheikh Nasser paid tribute to the strong relationship between both countries, highlighting its progress under the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Qatar, his Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. He stressed the importance of enhancing the ties and cooperation between both countries in an effort to boost joint strategic projects so as to reach growth goals that meet the ambitions of the people of Bahrain and Qatar. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then hailed the progress being witnessed in Qatar in all areas. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Youth Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on receiving the ANOC Merit Award. His Highness Sheikh Khaled affirmed that this medal comes as an international recognition of the efforts and contributions of His Highness Sheikh Nasser towards the development of sports in Bahrain. 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser translated the vision and directives of His Majesty the King that aim at developing the youth and sports sector to achieve successes that confirm Bahrain's athletic status on the regional and international levels. This vision and action has positively affected accomplishments in various sporting fields, notably the winning of gold and silver medals in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics, which was a reflection of Bahrain's advanced level. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted that His Highness Sheikh Nasser developed a map which contributed to building an advanced sports system on the administrative and technical levels. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also pointed out that Sheikh Nasser sets an example for the young leadership due to the development policy he followed that has contributed to achieving a quantum leap in Bahrain sports. The Foreign Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, attended today a lecture held by the Palestinian Liberation Organization Executive Committee Secretary, Dr. Saab Erekat. The lecture, which discussed the latest developments in Palestine, was attended by a number of ambassadors, professors from the University of Bahrain, media specialists, and more. Dr. Erekat commended the role of Bahrain in supporting the Palestinians and their legitimate rights. He reviewed the efforts exerted in uniting the Palestinian people, stressing that unity is the way to deal with all regional and international matters and to establish Palestine as a sovereign state with its capital in Jerusalem. He asserted that the Palestinian National Authority will cooperate with all efforts that aim at reaching a fair and comprehensive, peaceful settlement of the Palestinian issue, according to the International Legitimacy Resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. Dr. Erekat expressed his hopes and wishes for Palestinians to re restore their full rights with the help of friendly and brotherly countries, wishing all countries and people security and prosperity. Education Minister and Higher Education Council Chairman Dr. Majid Ben Ali Al Naimi chaired the Council's periodic meeting, where he and the Council's members praised the establishment of a chair in the name of His Majesty King Hamid Ben Isa Al Khalifa at La Sapienza University of Rome in Italy to teach dialogue, peace and religious tolerance. The Council commended His Majesty's efforts to spread these humanitarian values and the agreements made between the University of Bahrain and the Italian University on the level of higher education. The Council affirmed granting more facilities to higher education institutions and their academic programs to guarantee their eligibility in accordance with the requirements of higher education law and regulations in order to improve the output of these institutions in collaboration with the British Higher Education Academy. The Council then studied and reviewed the topics on its agenda and made a number of decisions, including appointing the Council's General Secretariat to allocate 3% of all universities' income for scientific research, based on the Council's keenness to activate the role of scientific research. The Council also allocated 2% of universities' income for professionalizing staff and approved the Finance and Administration Committee's recommendation for the financial guarantee to be in accordance with the university's capacity. The first Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Al Aradi, chaired a weekly meeting today in which the Council approved an agreement between Bahrain and Bangladesh regarding avoidance of double taxation and fiscal evasion. The Council of Representatives also approved pro proposals on limiting housing installments to a maximum of 150 Bahraini dinars and launching a state award for creativity and quality in government work. The Council also approved reports on appointing commercial attaches in countries with advanced economies and appointing military and security attaches in the embassies of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany and Russia. The Council also approved establishing a new building for the General Directorate of Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and allocating land in Maharak to establish an occasions hall for the residents.